and the Galaxy Note 10 Plus has finally been announced and it comes with a ton of awesome features. Now in this video I'm going to show you 10 of those features that I think are worthwhile and make this device totally different. So let's kick things off with the very first feature which is fast charging. I'm talking about super fast charging on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus because it supports up to a 45 watt charger, uh, which is something we've been waiting for from Samsung for a while. And I'm glad it's finally here because now you can charge your Galaxy Note 10 Plus, which has a 4300 milliamp battery in about an hour. That is super, super cool. Now the second feature is fast wireless charging. Samsung has upped the ante here, going up to 15 watts for the fast wireless charging, which basically charges faster than your iPhone. That is pretty cool. Now just to give you uh, some perspective, the Galaxy S10 Plus goes up to 12 watts of fast uh, wireless charging, and the Galaxy Note 9 last year was 9.5 watts. So they've definitely improved it, and they've got a brand new uh, fast wireless charger that goes up to 15 watts that you can use for your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. So our third feature on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is something I truly love. I'm talking about the ability to do screen recording and face capture. Now you're thinking a lot of devices there out there can capture, of course, your screen or record your screen, except on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, it's a little different. If you're a gamer like me, you can go ahead and capture your gameplay, but also use your front facing camera to record yourself and your live reactions, as well as also use the mic on your Galaxy Note 10 to, of course, capture your audio. This can be done up to 1080p, which is great for uploading game videos. And you go and go ahead and use the inbuilt editor to edit your gameplay clips to throw up on your YouTube channel or Twitch or whichever one you want to. So our fourth feature is something called PlayLink. Now this I consider really, really cool. This is the ability to go ahead and stream your games from your PC directly to your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. All you have to do is download the PlayLink app, install it on your PC, it finds all your games on your PC. So just imagine you can play games like Division 2 directly on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus, making your Note 10 Plus not only a great gaming device for mobile games, but also a great PC gaming device. And this is going to change the way I use this device. So our next feature is something called write to text, which is fantastic if you use the S Pen a lot, which I do. Now you've got the ability to write a lot of chicken scratch like I do and transcribe it into text, which is great to send off to different people uh, via email, text messages, or whichever avenue you want to use. Now you can use it with the, of course, the Samsung Note app, as well as also the uh, screen uh, memo uh, on your- Screen off memo. Oh, yeah, thanks, man. Yeah, screen off memo. Uh, you can actually use the feature right there. Another great feature is something called Air Actions on the S Pen. Now, remember last year with the Galaxy Note 9, we were able to use our S Pen to take photos. Samsung has expanded this with the S Pen, using it to do more things on your device. So you can go ahead and uh, navigate through, of course, your camera menu, switching between menu options. You can flip to the front facing camera and the rear camera. You can zoom in and zoom out. You can also use it while uh, playing music tracks, changing tracks. So it's a great thing, especially when you're taking photos with family and friends and you wanna change different photo options to say maybe like live video, which is also a great new feature on your Galaxy Note 10. Now, Link to Window is something Microsoft recently released for the Android ecosystem. With the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus, it is built into your device. You don't have to download a separate app. All you have to do is install a link to Windows on your PC, swipe down uh, from your notification bar, and uh, tap on the icon, and you can sign into Link to Window. This allows you to, of course, receive text messages right on your desktop. Also, it transfers all your media photos that you've taken directly, uh, kind of like an airdrop mode, if you will. It's a great feature. It's nice that it's baked into the Note 10 Plus, and you don't need to get uh, download the application, and makes it seamless for you to work between your Galaxy Note 10 or your PC, and also transfer uh, content across. So as you know, the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is a pro user device and the ability to switch over to a desktop mode with DeX is something that is really cool. Now, in the past, you had to use either uh, a dongle, specialized dongle or HDMI to USB Type-C, not anymore. With the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you can do that directly with your USB Type-C cable and that's it, connected to a monitor 
or a laptop and you're good to go. Give me the ability to, of course, do uh, more desktop-like work and use your Galaxy Note 10 Plus at the same time. Now, speaking of the camera, the camera has got a bunch of updates. We do have a night mode built into it, but that's not what really concerns me. We also have, of course, live video, which I mentioned, uh, live focus video, which I mentioned earlier. It's a great feature, if, especially with the use of that time of flight uh, sensor. But the cool new feature I do like is the zoom in mic. A very simple option in your menu system in the camera, and you've got the ability to zoom in directly to a subject and capture audio much better while recording on your Galaxy Note 10 Plus. You also have the ability to use, of course, Super Steady, which I love absolutely because that mode is now included in Hyperlapse. So a ton of new camera features baked into the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, the last and final feature, something a lot of people would be happy about. This is actually an omission on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. As you notice on this device, it doesn't have a Bigsby button. It's been taken away. So we now have a more streamlined device with just a power button and volume keys. Bigsby is still there for all you Bigsby fans. You just have to hold down the power button to use. But I'm glad that we don't have multiple buttons on the device and it makes it just more seamless and easy to handle. So there you have it, guys. Those are the 10 features I absolutely love on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus.